Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and today I wanted to bring you my top 10 stocks, specifically to cannabis stocks for January 2019, considering we are about to hit New Year's in less than 12 hours here in Vancouver. So the number 10 pick for January 2019, it's hard for me to keep saying 2019 because it hasn't even happened yet, but the number 10 pick is Harvest Health. This company, HARV, I really like them. And as you can see, they're up 6%. Nobody talks about them. Nobody wants to mention them. They're a good company and they're making money. They actually made $11.2 million in the quarter and they are growing year over year as far as revenue by 62%, which is very, very positive. And quarter over quarter, they grew by 6%. So, Harvest Health and Recreation is one that I need you to put on your watch list, put it on your radar right now. I really like this company. I think it has a lot of potential, and I think it could be a huge winner for you, okay? Harvest Health and Recreation, Inc. In 2019, we are really focused on investing in companies that have strong revenue. This is a company here that is a first mover, has done all the right things, but has been under siege. They've been under attack. I love the share price right now. At $5.75, $5.84 right now, down 6%. Afria, I believe, is a steal at these prices. They've been under siege. They've been under attack. But they are still one of the biggest and the baddest players on the block. That's a fact, okay? So if you want to get into a player and you want to get in at a good price... January 2019, this may be the best time for you to buy Afria. Look at the chart, okay? You can see here that this chart, it it's near the bottom. Over the last year, Afria is at near the bottom, near the lowest it's been all year. This is where you want to be buying stocks, okay? That's the rich system. You want to buy in the red, sell in the green, take advantage and Afria, a company that made $13.1 million in the quarter, trading at $5.77 because they've been attacked by short sellers. But I believe that this company will persevere. There's options to maybe be taken out for $11 Canadian by Green Growth Brands. They're saying that they don't want that option. But Green Growth has just come out saying that they are reaffirming their commitment to take over Afria. So this is interesting news, and I believe Afria is my number ninth best play for cannabis stocks for January 2019. Number eight, I love this company. This company makes a lot of money, they do all the right things, and they are one that I believe has huge potential. Enormous potential. I love everything about this company. Can trust. Can trust is such a monster, such a beast. I mean, they're doing all the right things, making 12.6 million in the last Q, in the last quarter. Their revenue is growing. Year over year, their revenue has grown by 39%, which is very impressive. And, sorry, quarter over quarter, they have grown by 39%, which is hugely impressive, actually. And year over year, they have grown by 105% their revenues. So all of these companies I'm showing you right now are massive revenue generators. Even Afria, which is a number nine spot for me, they grew by 11% over the quarter and they grew by 117% over the last year. So the growth for these companies is spectacular. And I've got CanTrust at $6.56. I just think this is such a steal right now. I really do. I think it just has so much potential. And I could easily see this trading at $10 in the future. So can trust. Make sure you put it on your watch list. Put it on your radar. They are number eight on my list. And you can see right now trading near the bottom for the last year. Once again, this is what I'm trying to say. Finding stocks at the bottom. Great companies that are revenue generating at the bottom. You buy them at the bottom. And if you can sell it at the top, you can make a killing. Look at this. It's been as high as last, wow, just in October. 
It was at $14. It's now at $6.55. To me, this is a screaming buy, okay? And they are number eight on my list. Can trust. Look at that chart. They are at the bottom, people. At the bottom. The lowest it's been is around these levels. So you can't really go wrong with can't trust. I think it's a almost a shoo-in. The number seven, this one has been on fire. They're on full alert right now. MJAR, I got to put them on here. And they are just such a beast. They're on fire. M Jardine Group, up 27% today. And they're making money too. They're making money too, believe it or not. They are making money too. They are not quite where some of the other players are right now. But they have the potential because they're so new. M. Jardine making $7 million in the last quarter, up 57% from the last quarter. That's right, 57% jump from the last quarter. MJARF in America, M. Jardine Group, MJR, MJAR in Canada. Look at that spike. This has been an unbelievable five days for them. Look at this. See that power? That's the big mo. You can't buy that. That's the big mo, okay? They got it. They got the big mo. M Jardine Group up 28% today. A big winner. Now, Rich TV Live, we're strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. And number six is one that I love. I'm working very closely with them, studying them. I actually went to their facilities. It is a mind-boggling company and it's just getting started. Bevo Agro Inc. BVO actually named Zenabis. They are a 88% buy on bar chart with the strongest short-term outlook. I love this company. Long-term, the trend strength is strong. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of the trend with this company. This is a sneak attack company. They're not even listed in America right now. They are making tons of money. They're one of the largest producers in Canada. They are going to shock the world, okay? Up 26% in the last five days, and nobody talks about it except for me, all right? They're number six on my list, Bevo Agro Inc., Zenabis. They are a monster. And their chart is powerful, okay? These guys are a company to reckon with, all right? And actually, I do believe they have an American symbol. I'm sure you guys can give it to me in the comments um, down below. But these guys are a monster. I, I'm telling you guys, they have so much potential. And like, look at this chart. Let's look at the three-month chart. Look at the way they've climbed. I'm going to mark this chart here. They have just climbed like incredible from $2.37 in October like to a high of $6.80. Unbelievable. That is a huge jump and now currently at $5.70. So they've retracted a little bit from their highs, which you expect. And they're still way up from their lows. So, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? If you guys like this video, please smash the like button. Comment down below. If I win and you win, we all win. It's true. And you know your boy Rich. We like to bring you all the winners. And we like to bring you the winners first. Okay? Bevo Agro has been a huge winner for our members. Even though the market has been down over the last couple months... Bevo Agro has been climbing. So keep them on your watch list. They are number six on my list for January top 10, 2019. In the top five now. Drum roll. And in number five, a company that I absolutely love, I adore. They have so much potential. Ianthus. I-A-N in Canada. I A. I-T-H-U-F in America. Love this company. Love what they're doing. I think they have so much potential. I think that the upside for them is staggering. And at these prices, I believe Ianthus might be one of the 
best buying opportunities, okay? At $4.05. And remember, they are acquiring MPX Biosutical this month of January coming up. And MPX Biosutical is making $14.7 million a quarter. MPX Biosutical is growing revenue by 233% over last year. So that partnership, I believe, is going to fuel Ianthus Capital Holdings. And I believe at these prices, they are a steal. I really do. And let's take a look at ITHUF in America, IAN in Canada. What a beast. And we're going to look at this over the year. These guys have been one of the quiet assassins all year that have been climbing and nobody even wants to talk about it. I'm going to start to talk about it more and more. So they were at $2 on last year around this time. They've been as high as almost $7, just under $7, and they're currently at 4 So they're kind of trading right here around the middle. I believe the upside is very big from, the, from this. I believe we could see 100% growth in revenue for this company in 2019, I think we could see 100% price appreciation for this stock in 2019. I'm not suggesting it's going to stay at $8, but I believe we will see it hit $8 at some point in 2019. That's just a prediction, and you heard it here first from your boy Rich. That's my number five pick for January 2019. Now, in number four, I love this company. Absolutely love these kind Cush Bottles, okay? These guys, I love these guys. Absolutely love these guys. The revenue growth, everything about them. Kush Bottles up 4% today. KSHB, an American play. Love the American plays right now. These guys are a beast to be reckoned with. And I'm telling you guys, they are going to have a huge 2019. Their revenue will continue to grow and they will shock a lot of people. I've been telling you guys that Kush Bottles was in my top five. They are in my top five. They're actually in number four spot right now. Absolutely love Kush Bottles. This company is such a monster and nobody wants to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it, okay? 20 million in revenue in the quarter, all right? 55% growth over the last quarter, which is one of the best growth ratios quarter over quarter for any company in the cannabis sector, okay? They don't even grow cannabis. They're in the bottling and manufacturing and packaging. So 131% growth over the last year. Love these guys. Number four for January 2019. They are a beast, okay? You've got to put this on your watch list. Put it on your radar. An absolute monster. Love these guys. You can see they have just grown. They have just grown and grown and grown. And they've been higher. We're going to mark this. They've been as high as $7, okay? And we've seen them just recently a little bit lower, but now they've climbed since I've been talking about them and letting you guys know that I believe that they have huge potential. They have started to climb and they will continue to. They are a beast, an absolute monster. In number three, we're in the top three now. Who could be number three, you ask? Medman. These guys are a beast. Medman is a monster. Love these guys. At $3.85, I heard today, I don't know if it's true, but I heard that Jay-Z is somehow involved in this company. Rockefeller Records, are you kidding me? Medman, $21.5 million in the quarter. I say pardon? Yeah, that's right. $21.5 million in the quarter, and nobody wants to talk about them? I'm going to talk about them. Medman, they're in my top three. They are a beast, okay? M-M-E-N in Canada, an absolute monster. Medman, what do you guys think about Medman? I just think they have so much potential. Look how high they've traded. I mean, it's a little bit staggering. They've been as high as $8.50, okay? They are now down at $3.83. I'm telling you guys, they are finding their floor. They've been a little bit lower. So the lowest they've been is $3.23. They're currently at 
83. So we're marking the lowest they've been. We've marked the highest they've been. Ooh, they've been almost as high as $10. They've been at $9.60 in Canada. Unbelievable. So these guys, I believe, an American play, have so much potential. What do you guys think about MedMen as number three? Comment down below. If you like this video, guys, please smash the like button. Share the video everywhere. If I win and you win, we all win. It's true. And in number two, love these guys. Absolutely love them. Curaleaf Holdings. C-U-R-A in Canada. C-U-R-L-F in America. Absolute beasts. Huge move here from 19 cents. Are you kidding me? To a high of $11. What the hell is going on here with Curaleaf? They have been doing incredible things. The revenue is staggering, okay? Are you ready for this? Revenue of 21.4 million in the quarter and up 45% in the last quarter from quarter to quarter growth and 289% revenue compared to this time last year, which is one of the biggest and the best revenues in the game. They are absolute monster. I love them at these prices. Love Curaleaf at $6.46. I see huge upside for this company, and they are number two on my list, Curaleaf. And in number one, you guys know my number one. You already know, Aurora Cannabis. It's true, love these guys. ACB, I believe at these prices, this is a gift from the gods. The stock gods have spoken and they've given us Aurora Cannabis at $4.96 on the New York Stock Exchange. Are you kidding me? The biggest and the baddest player on the block, $29.7 million in the quarter. They are my favorite I love them. They have been a serious player since day one. Over 40 companies that they are now partnered with. Love Aurora Cannabis. Currently at $6.77 in Canada. $4.95 in America. It is just a steal. And you can see over the last year that it is near the bottom. It's been a little bit lower, slightly. I'm going to mark all the places where it's been. So you can see the lowest it's been is around $5.30 for the year. It's currently at $6.77. I think this bad boy is going to blow. You heard it here first. I believe it will blow. I believe it will go up 100% from these prices. It might not stay there. We've seen it do this twice now, this year. And I believe they will do it again. Why? Because they are the biggest and they are the baddest in the world. They are 23 countries strong. They got plays in America, Mexico, Canada. They are global. They are first movers internationally. They are my number one pick for January 2019. You can book it. This is the baddest top 10 and you got it here free from your boy Rich. Absolutely free. Let's talk about it again. Aurora Cannabis in number one. Cura in number two, Medman in number three, Kush Bottles in number four, Ianthus in number five, BVO in number six, MJAR in number seven, MJARF in America, Can't Trust in number eight, TRST, Afria in number nine, APHA, and Harvest. That's it. That's all. Hope you had a ball. Happy New Year's. Harvest Health and Recreation in number 10. Aurora Cannabis in number one. Numero uno. I love them. Let's go ACB. Let's go Aurora Cannabis. This is your boy Rich wishing you a happy New Year's. From my family, my friends, my community to yours. Let's make 2019 our biggest and our best year ever. This is your boy Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching. It's true. I'm out. Peace.